Apple has switched to an OLED display on their iPhone X. Previous gen iPhone screens used LCD technology, where a power draining backlight was needed for the whole display, even if the screen was showing black. But with OLED technology, every single one of the 2,740,500 pixels is individually backlit, meaning each pixel can be turned off when the screen is displaying black, and therefore saving battery life. Apple already builds a low power mode into iOS, which adjusts settings such as turning off background app refresh and lowering the screen brightness. But we wanted to take it further by testing if displaying black actually saves battery life. We decided to use Apple's true black wallpaper to ensure total darkness. You can find it at the bottom of the still wallpaper options. To properly test this, we turned off auto brightness in true tone. We then turned off auto lock and set the brightness to the max. We left the display on the home page to eliminate any other variables. While testing, we noticed the true black wallpaper made all the colors really stand out. The colors on the 8 looked almost gray and desaturated in comparison to the 10. We also instantly noticed that the OLED display was much brighter, especially in the whites. After testing for 3 hours, we found that using the true black wallpaper brought the battery from 100% to 77%. We tested it again with the default wallpaper, and this time, the battery went down to 61%. That's a difference of 16%, which is pretty impressive since a lot of the screen is still taken up by bright icons. If you don't like the true black wallpaper, or if you'd like to carry the battery savings from the home screen to the rest of the phone, you can enable iOS 11's Smart Invert feature, which is useful for inverting anything white to black, and is the closest thing to a dark mode you can get. With Smart Invert now on, we ran the same test again except this time we displayed a mostly white Safari web page. After 3 hours with maximum brightness, the battery went from 100% to an impressive 85%. Running the test again in regular viewing mode, the battery went from 100% to a shocking 28%. This really shows just how much battery life an OLED equipped device can save when using a black theme. To turn this feature on, go to Settings, General, Accessibility, Display Accommodations, and then Invert Colors. Compared to Classic Invert, Smart Invert attempts to leave media like images and videos unchanged, but it doesn't always work correctly, especially in third-party apps. If that's a no-go for you, Another option is to find a wallpaper that has a dark or gray theme. Even though the darker pixels may not be completely turned off, they actually consume less power compared to bright and colorful ones. Sync 9's Pure Colors vs Power Consumption tests show that displaying pure white consumed by far the most power. Green and red use significantly less power than blue. Black showed some power consumption, but that's the total for the whole device tested, not just the screen. This test gives us a couple more options to help save battery life. First, we can turn on night shift mode, which reduces the amount of blue light produced by the display. You can actually adjust the color temperature slider within the night shift settings to get rid of even more blue. Unfortunately, night shift isn't very attractive. Since pure white uses the most power, another option is to reduce the white point within the display accommodation settings. This will reduce the intensity of bright colors, and is also adjustable. It's also completely separate from the screen brightness settings so you can set it once and forget it. Another option is to use the grayscale color filter, also within display accommodation settings. Just turn it on and choose grayscale. This will change all colors including pure white to a shade of gray, and therefore save battery life. If you want to take it to the extreme, you can actually use Smart Invert and Grayscale together. This will make sure that even images and videos that aren't being inverted are darker as well. Apple makes it pretty convenient to turn these features on and off by adding a shortcut. Just go to the bottom of the accessibility settings to find it. You can tap to choose whichever features you want to use and then triple click the side button from anywhere to turn them on and off. The issue with this is that if you have more than one option selected, you have to tap to enable each individual feature. And triple click again to bring it back up. For this, it's better to only have one option selected within the shortcuts. Then, turning it off and on is instant. You can also add an accessibility shortcut to the control center. Smart Invert and Grayscale will only offer battery savings if you're using an iPhone X with the OLED display. But there are other changes you can make that will work for all iPhone models, 
even legacy versions with LCD displays. Sank 9 also tested brightness versus power consumption and found that power consumption goes through the roof when maximizing brightness, specifically over 80% in their testing. So if you really want to save battery life, avoid maximizing your brightness. Perhaps the best way to boost battery life is to enable auto brightness within the display accommodation settings. Every iPhone since iPhone 4 has an ambient light sensor, which measures the amount of surrounding light and adjusts the display to optimal brightness for each situation. This way, when you're in a dark room and don't need the extra brightness, the screen will dim and save your battery life. And when you're in bright sunlight, it'll boost the brightness enough for you to comfortably use the screen. Another great way to save battery life is to reduce the idle screen on time. By going into display and brightness settings, tapping into auto lock and choosing a minimal setting. Some users have it set to a few minutes or even set to never, which runs the risk of forgetting to turn the display off and therefore greatly reducing battery life. Also, don't forget low power mode, as it'll reduce brightness and display some software features to further boost battery life. In iOS 11, you can get quick access to this feature by adding it to your control center. Just go to Settings, Control Center, Customize Controls, and add low power mode from the list of controls. If you can think of any other ways to save battery life on the iPhone 10, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.